Hey everybody, yep, Dad's off to go get the coast cows in. And we've set up the cow shed. We're ready. <laughs> ah, it's gonna be a nice, it's a nice crispy morning again. No clouds in the sky, so it should be a beautiful day. Okay, oh, let's get to milking. There's a little calves over there. Those yeah. little fellas, they're gonna be given fed on the 40 feet this morning. Poor little buggers will be a bit hungry today. They'll full up pretty quick off their 40 feeder. Just finished get the cows in and I was too busy in putting that information on what the penicillins we were using. So, right, I'll get to milking. Now, I was just saying this morning's a frost, so, whew, must be chilly. Go on, ladies, up we go. Go on. Might not look it, but by goodness, she's white out here today. Whew, she's nippy. Where's your apron? Hey, jeez. Get all dirty. I got my apron on. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, well this morning. It's cold weather. Tank is coming today at 12 o'clock. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Cal. Howie's morning. She's nipping. Yeah, what's this cow's name on Paddock? Well, her name used to be Shadow, but now we're going to name her Storm Shadow. Yeah, Storm Shadow. Because one minute she's happy as you can pet her, no hassle. Get her in the cow shed to milk her, and she'll go absolutely ballistic. And... Yeah, you silly aunt. Milk the last row of the milkers. How much do you think we're going to see today, Mum? Four four. Four four? I reckon four two. How much are you gonna send, Dad? Four one. Forty one twenty Dad reckon so. Last pickup was three six forty, so And we've got more now. Let's see, see what we said today. Come on girls. Come on. Big girl. Come on, up we go, come on. Pick our row, any row. Thank you. No flick flashes. Cow scratches. Get there trimming dales this morning. Awesome girls sorted with another four girls joining the milkers. So we're going to keep our colostrum herd a little bit longer just till we have uh, those mastitis girls come right in there outside there with holding with that penicillin. So that's going to be at least the 2nd of August. On the washing up, mummers here. And we're going to start sorting out some milk and uh, wash the plant up. Neighbor, neighbor's got a helicopter next door. Wonder what they're doing over there. So that's what he's doing. He's spreading. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, right. Huh? Let's get to uh, feeding some garbage here. These fellas just gonna wait until we get back from down the farm because we'll push them all into one pen and feed them on the outside there with a the big 40 feeder. Just waiting for these to finish. Fed. Fed. Still to feed. Last bucket of milk. Off 
fuck is that? Is that they just doing urea? Yes. Now it's spreading. There he is, spreading away. If you can see the lines coming out. Still coming and watching him pulling up. So quick. That spreading was two bags of course back now. We're gonna go feed out a bale and a half for one break and a bale and a half for the next break. Keep the girls happy. Can't see any little heifer calves down there, but uh, we're always going to, that'll probably give the a to go through. We just sure. fed out one and a half bales in this break. So in the process of feeding out the other bale in this paddock, ready to fed out half the bale, so that's here. Gonna grab two little calves. And we'll find their mums. <laughs> now we've slowed down. Two little calves, one Hereford, and one actually here for a placement keeper. Probably the last one. See that last time. Okay. There's one mum headed out. Try to find the other one. That might be her there. 254. So I'm gonna finish feeding out. And I'll wind up that reel. It's good, I've had a quick look through them. A couple of cows really close to calving. Probably will go today or tonight or a couple of days. <laughs> but overall not that many. So bit of a lull. I've gone through the high part. It's all smooth sailing from here, eh Dallas? Hey? Eh? Here's your little Dallas. We're gonna go feed out this bale. Do you like your silage? Mm -hmm. Do you like your silage? Good girl. Okay. All fed out. Put the fence back up that I drove over to get in there. And uh, cows are fed and happy. Dad already wound up the reel. Thank you, Dad. Okay, let's go and uh, head up. We're gonna go feed those other little calves up the front. And don't have to worry about the heifers. Dad's checked them. No little calves in the heifers. Okay. Let's go feed the calves out in the uh, outside area. Now Dad picks his paddocks. What he's doing is when he, um, well, we just basically work our way back up to the front of the farm with the uh, calving cows. But how Dad knows how much silage he needs is actually by thinking, all right, how many cows can fit in this one paddock? And with this paddock, he said about four to 500 probably. 400 and then with those bales of silage up to 500 so that's how he knows he can get five days out of this one paddock with uh, two bales of silage each day those cows numbers decrease we've decreased the silage so that's how he works it out well so he told me how he works it out he just knows too he's pretty good as pasture management and knows what he's doing over there that we thought would be a crop paddock has actually recovered really well and even this paddock looks like it might recover quite well as well so it's always good to see just had a look on the app which shows me who's carving and who's meant to have carved by now and that the cow in front there was meant to carve three days ago and she's meant to have a a b hefferia and she's had a little heifer so that's great She's had a, um, so that little calf that she had is a keeper, and the one on the right there, she had a little Hereford. So the Hereford's also a bobby, it's too small a frame, will wait a little bit longer, you get the bigger framed Herefords, and hopefully some boys coming through. So that little Hereford's a girl. We do want to keep the boys bigger statured, and we'll grow to be bigger. This dad's only going to keep 30 this year to finish off. Take them right through to two. Park the tractor here out of the way so that when the tanker does come, we're out of his way. Tanker's meant to be here at 12 o'clock. 
And I hear a motorbike running, but there's a motorbike here that's not running. Reinforcements have a... Oh, that's not a good sign. Tessa, what did you do? Oh, no. Oh, no. Tessa. Fired through. Good help. Ah, oh, yes. Victor, fine time to leave me, loose wheel. <laughs> yeah, bearings bugging. We knew it was going to go, but we thought we'd at least get another year out of it. James is um, not stuck. He got stuck. He got stuck. Can't wait to push. I've just unhooked it. Um, there's... Broken up? No, it's just got the oh ring God, in there, the well. which we knew was going. I was not driving hard. It was nice. Oh, no. <laughs> Put it back on, is it? Put it back on. <laughs> yep. Back wheel. That's all right. It's a matter of holding it up. And we'll uh, get this car sorted. We're going to get this bolt off it. And... Uh, the old bearing housings in that office. Dad's gonna take the bearing in, get a new one, and we're gonna put a new wheel on it. That's same wheel, but a new bearing. Yep. Bearing worn out. While that's happening, the Tess are gonna feed the cows. separately and then chuck them both together and let them have that little area just here we put gates up across there so they can't go too far and that'll make them nice and happy hey suckies you'll be very hungry i know i know they're coming very good good to have you come and help thank you wait on one calf to finish and tessa is annoying the calves there how are you doing tessa Ah, yes. Poop on them, poop on them! <laughs> Good luck, Tisha. Ah, oh, she got out. <laughs> yeah, there's 34 calves in there. Happy. Some of them eating the meal. Full. So we're going to set up these gates out here and let them be able to walk in and out. Yes, they're going to probably eat mud, but that's all right. They like mud. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. What's your idea? I know you're going to taste the grass. Eat that. Yeah, that's a weed. You don't like that. And they can only go up to there for today. But after tonight, they'll be allowed the whole paddock probably tomorrow morning. So we feed them a lot. Give them a whole day's worth of milk and then leave them to it. Come on, come on. Yes, it is. And then we We have the block there and that bit of wood dangles down, stops them from uh, getting out that way. Well, persuades them not to. <laughs> Start to explore. Mud. <laughs> Start to explore more and more. As you'll see here. These ones are getting more in the sunlight. There's mud and grass to taste. Everything. Yeah, so Dad's gonna grind that off. That bit there is that bit. Yep. Shove it over there nicely. Yep, beauty. Put the seal on first. Yeah. On the wheel, but you want to go and give him a scrape. Right, well done. Please be safety eyes. Dad's got a safety goggles. There we go. And he's away. Okay. 
person would do a bit of angle. Probably. <laughs> yep, there's a screw crack up. Just needs heating up really. Hey? Just taking the rust off, mate. Hey? Yeah. Now it's about to touch it. Too bad. Push them too far. It needs yeah, a little seal. It goes up to a certain point. Yep. Is there a little outie that goes up to? Have a look. Yeah, a little look. Yep. Well. Okay. We should be all lined up. Yep. Okay. Yep. Put them on. Yep. Slide them on there now. Okay. There you go. Space it. Missing something. Missing something. Why? No, it's just a spacer. Is it how's ready to go? Yeah, yeah it spaces the bearings out. Oh, oh my God. Grease. Oh, we haven't greased it. Oh! Yeah! What's wrong? Stuck. We haven't greased it. Oh. Well, it's stuck now. <laughs> I suppose you can't get to it. Where about it? Greasy, grease, grease. Apparently, you want your bit of wood. No, Hannah. Apparently, you want not. Is it going on, alright? Nope. Ah. Nope. Ah. Get going. Way. Okay. Whee. Done last year. Should have. <laughs> Someone was on holiday. And then you do it up and you spin the bearing and it should be. Whoop. Yep, hit stop. A little bit tighter. You'll, you'll feel the bearing tighten up a bit more. Oh, that's no what you should have got at the shop. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Switch. Nice and free. There's a little cap on, stop the mud and shit getting in there. Stop some mud and shit getting in from the other side of the spacer. Alright, the, there's an iron. iron. Like a new one. Yeah. Easy yes. Hi. Who's that? Here we go, we'll just, just uh, wash these up. 
took all the teats out from last year and washed them up, put new teats in now. Yeah. Well, pink one on, so when we change. Yeah, so when we're washing them out, we don't get them mucked around because the pink ones go to the back, black ones to the front. And then the rest of the feed has got black ones on it. And why is that, Carl? No real difference. <laughs> no, because you've got to have a top. Oh, yeah. There's a top, because if yeah. it's sitting that way, the calves don't drink very well. But if it yeah. sits there's no way, difference between the black and the no, pink teats no. anyway. But, yeah, so there's a top on it. you got to make sure the top of the pink sheet's that way, or else you see a little hole when it opens up. No milk comes out when it's sideways, see? Well, not as well, anyways. Sort of pinches it. Comes through, pinches it. <laughs> right, keep going. Put these on, test it down, put those on. I'll give my hand one feed it done. Teeth rinsed out. Very happy. Good work, team. Now we've got to wash our little cafeterias from today. <laughs> but we're ready to go for tonight. Feed the big uh, calves. That's us for today. I'll see you all on milking tonight. Actually, that little calf got to you. Just gave him a drink. That one there is from a bull called Home Brew. Beautiful calf. Look at him. Massive. Same with that one down there. That's also another Home Brew for one of our cows. With a bull called Home Brew. Very nice. Right, with that, see you all on milking tonight. Oh, yeah. 20, 42, 13, baby. 30 litres off. Dad was 41.6, I'm pretty sure. Their mum was 44, so I got close. There he goes. And I'll just finish washing the mat. Careful, you nearly fell over. Oh, they they that's how they are when they're born. They're born? Yeah, they're born with horns, little horn stubs. Oh, but we can't see them? No, but you, you can you can feel them. But your pandas, your your pandas, your herophids. They don't have them. Because they're bred not to have them. So yeah. Pandas yep, the pa the yep, the pandas didn't get their... Wow, that's cool. Hey, what are you doing on that side of the gate? I bet I was being in there. <laughs> Mr. Muscles has four buckets of milk. Lucky Jordan's not here. He'd be trying to do six. six. Jordan, Jordan, four last time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do one. Thank you. <laughs> it's been a beautiful day. Stunning. We're just waiting on the last girl here to finish. Just had a bit of trouble walking out that back right there. And this girl here, big girl there, the third one there. She's uh, come back into milk quite well, considering she had a week without getting milk to a calf drinking off her, so awesome work, girl.
First lot of calves on the 40 feeder. But they are getting their first feed as electrolytes, which is just a, um, basically just a electrolytes. <laughs> Good for calves, stops, well, helps when they've got the squirts. So we give it to them now. So all the calves learn that this is the cafeteria. And um, just in case anyone does have the squirts, it'll help them right away. So tomorrow we can give them a full feed of milk. They'll get their most feed, biggest feed they've had since they've been little calves. As you can see, the Hereford isn't liking this stuff. That's all right, you gotta drink it anyway. <laughs> all right, 100 liters of electrolytes for 34 calves. Just under, just over three litres of calf. Good little their little tummies down for tonight, and then they on once a day tomorrow. Yep, big move tomorrow. Yeah. Putting the brick out of the way, we just got the cafeteria out of us. Dad was watching the gate, Tess was watching one side, and when gate opened, I pulled her out. Pretty quick. And easy, eh, Dallas? Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. Dad was saying so much for the last heifer for replacement this morning. We had another one, calf, who was in calf to AB and had another heifer. That's great. Granddad and most kids here racing. Run, Dad! Run away! He's quick. He's quick. <laughs> With that, like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the morning. Thank you.